I love a good dangly leg. They're like some of the ugliest socks I've ever seen. Can I just say that sometimes I just really, really annoy myself? Oh my goodness. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh! Nope, okay, backstory. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. Good morning, happy Saturday and weekend. I will tell you, even though I love my job and I love getting to work from home and I love getting to be here and all the things, weekends still hit differently. I still enjoy a weekend just as much as the next person and I am so thankful for this weekend specifically because the last two weekends I've been out of town, we, two weekends ago, we had the opportunity to host and surprise and throw a birthday party, a 30th birthday party for a dear friend of mine. Spent the weekend doing that, and then this past weekend was Labor Day weekend. I was with my mom, my sister, and my niece, and we spent a weekend away at an Airbnb. We just had like a really chill weekend, but it was super fun. But this weekend, I have nothing. I have no plans. I mean, I'm gonna do some work. I'm doing this, obviously. I'm gonna... I did not get my tiered tray decorated this week like I had planned, so we're doing that today. It's happening. I gotta do some laundry. I've got laundry over here. I try to wash the laundry if I can on Saturdays and then fold it all on Sunday so that I'm not just like bombarded by doing everything. I washed our bedding yesterday, so that's taken care of. On Saturday mornings, we do a sweaty Saturday workout, and so at 8.30, a.m. Central Standard Time, we hop on Zoom and we all just crush a workout. So we're not all doing the same workout. It's just getting on, it's accountability to get whatever workout done that needs to be done so that you can get on with the rest of your day and enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. Like if, if anyone's schedule is like mine, I typically take a rest day throughout the week and then finish out my five day workout program on Saturdays so that I can join in on the sweaty Saturday workouts. So that's the plan, I'm gonna do that and I will be done with week four of the current workout program that I'm doing, it's an eight week program so I will officially be halfway through as of today, which is super exciting. And then I'm gonna be doing some computer work, I'm gonna be doing some video editing, lots to do. However, I'm super excited because a lot of what I'm going to be doing, I'm gonna like watch Gilmore Girls while I do it, I'm gonna sit on the couch with my laptop in my lap, dog snuggling nearby, all of that. So it's gonna be a fun day, and even though I do have some work things that I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually super excited for it. I love these sorts of days. So. I'm wearing my sushi socks because it's a sushi day. I'm getting sushi later today. That is gonna be my meal probably around lunchish time. I usually get a couple of rolls and then a salad from there. I love their salads. So gonna do that, wearing my sushi socks to represent that that came in a like a 12 pack, eight pack, I don't know, of different fun socks that I have. So anyways, let's get into it, crush this workout and get on with this glorious day. I did my 45 minute shoulder workout to finish out week four of this eight week program I'm doing and I feel so good. And then I always reward myself. I love to read my personal development. Right now I'm reading this book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I like to, I call it my read and ride. And I sit and I ride my bike. I do one of the scenic rides that are on the bike. That so done with that, I'm actually going to not get showered quite yet because I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of gardening and yard work because my husband mowed yesterday. The yard looks phenomenal, but some of my like flower beds in my garden do not. So I'm gonna go do that and then I will shower, but since I'm already sweaty and nasty, I figure I'll go ahead and do it right now. And the sun is shining on the back side of the house right now and where I'm gonna be working for the most part is the front part of the house. So, and it's beautiful outside, so I'm gonna get some fresh air that way, so. Here we go. Okay, so a little backstory of this space. All of this is weeds. 
There are some orange flowers that I planted and some pink flowers back there that you can like not see. This flower bed, I planted flowers like everywhere and they did terrible. I watered it all the time, everything. I finally just like gave up on it. And these orange flowers and pink flowers and there's some more over, there's some more over here. Those somehow made it and then these and then there's some pink ones back in here you can't see also somehow made it. So I got really fed up with it and frustrated so I just stopped which is not a good gardening technique and I understand that but so we're going to weed it now so that you can see those pretty flowers even though they're very few and far between compared to I'm pretty sure I planted like 25 to 30 plants in here like for real. So let's do it. taking me like 30 seconds. That, I'm not even kidding you, I probably should have timed it. I think that took three minutes maybe five minutes I'm not sure but so much better it looks kind of weird though still because the placement of the flowers that are still here are like super close to these bushes so these bushes I planted last year and my father explained to me that bushes like that the first year that, that you have them they're building a, their root system and the years to come following that is when they'll start growing up because the first year I planted them, they, they literally stayed the exact same size as they did the moment I planted them and I was like what am I doing wrong so then when I understood the root system being like growing and all of that it made a lot more sense so they have grown quite a bit well this one's grown quite a bit this year oh you can't see that this one's grown quite a bit this year this one still is like tiny I think we've come to figure out that just this soil that's up here in our front flower bed is just not good I probably need to get like some miracle grow or something like that I've never put any of that in here let me turn you around so I can show you a little bit better. So, as I mentioned, this one right here, you can see all the new growth in these like brighter green leaves, obviously. And then the base of it is this right here. And this is called a, if you can see it, let's just look, Dwarf Buford Holly. It's supposed to get full sun. This does get some shade, but for the most part it gets full sun. And then this one is the other one. So this is pretty small, and that's about the size that it was when we first planted it. But there is still some new growth, so I can't be too upset. So, but here are some of the plants. So planted, and I planted all kinds of different flowers. So this one is one that I planted. Oh, there's still some weeds there. Goodness. Whoops. So that's one that I planted. This is one that I planted. This is also one that I planted. Maybe it'll never do anything, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for a little bit. It looks like kind of like a weed right now, but you can see... Right here are some little pink buds that are maybe going to do something. Maybe they won't, but we're going to leave it and try. This one, of course, this is my bush. Here's another one. This has no buds, but we're going to leave it anyway. Then we've got this with this orange one that's like right next to it. And then this pink one that's right behind it. So, but I'm telling you, I planted it in like very spaced out. It was very well spaced out throughout this entire flower bed. And then I added the mulch. It just doesn't look very good anymore and I can't say that this looks that great but I'm not going to do anything else with it at this point just weeding it all the weeds here and Hank Hank did you watch did you watch me do it were you <laughs> were you watching yeah thank you for your help Hank hey Psst. oh here comes Cub <laughs> Oh, I love you. I love you so much. So, there's another thing that's checked off of my no plans Saturday to-do list, and it feels really, really good. Also, if you've noticed, the cattle that are in the background, yes. They're right here, basically in my front yard, backyard, all the things. Next thing we're going to go do is water the garden. So, oh, I have something fun to show you. So I learned, so I planted Brussels sprouts for the first time ever in my entire life. <laughs> They're very curious, but also very scared. So 
I planted Brussels sprouts. I planted four different Brussels sprout plants in my garden this year for the first time ever. I'm gonna show you the Brussels sprout plants because I did not know how they grew. I thought maybe they you just got one Brussels sprout out of the middle of this big tall plant that's growing. No, let me show you. It grows along like the stalk. Let me show you. Okay, here we are in the garden and we are looking at a Brussels sprout plant. Now, I don't know if you can see it and if you know what a Brussels sprout looks like, I'm sure you're already picking up what I'm putting down, but the Brussels sprouts grow along the stalk here. Isn't that wild? I had no idea. Ooh, look at our pepper plant over here. Getting after it. Way to go. Yeah, the bugs attacked hardcore. As you can see, my poor tomatoes are just like done for. Absolutely done for. Which is super sad. I do still have some hope if the bugs don't get these. But anyway. So just wanted to share that though with the Brussels sprouts because I thought that was so neat. I had no idea how they grew. And now I know. And I love Brussels sprouts. My husband does too. We love Brussels sprouts. Look at that. That's so neat. So neat. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys. I have a, I call her my garden spider, but she's actually, I guess, called something else. There's another spider out in the world that's actually called a garden spider. So, two years ago, I planted a garden. I, last year, I did not plant a garden. Let's sit down and tell this story, because that'd probably be best. Because my arm's going to get tired. Oh my goodness, I am blown away right now. This is so wild. So wild. Okay. So, two years ago, I planted a garden. And not long after that, so my garden is here. It's back in this little area right here. There's a fenced in area, it used to be a dog pen. We don't use it as a dog pen, but it was a great way to keep the dogs out of it. And it was close to the house. And also my chickens can't get into it, okay? Well, so I plant this garden and all of a sudden, this spider shows up, this gigantic spider, and it shows up right here in the top of this window. So right in there is my workout room. And I had come out one day and I had seen it and it was huge, literally huge. And I was like, oh, and I'm not a spider person. I'm like, no, thank you. I do not want the spiders. Kill them, let's get rid of them. But then I realized the spider never moved. Like it made this really unique web. I ended up really appreciating the spider. And my husband is very big on that insects have a purpose and spiders, they actually help us a lot, all the things. Okay, that was two years ago. I had my garden. When I started to do research and figure out what this kind of spider is, it's not actually called a garden spider. I call it a garden spider, but I don't actually think it's called a garden spider. But they do show up around gardens, is the whole, so that's the whole point of it. And that's why I call it a garden spider, even though it's not technically called that. Anyway, so I have my garden two years ago. Spider shows up here. It's here like through the fall, like for quite a while. And then it makes me think of Charlotte's Web because she makes this a sack of babies or whatever it's like this brown sack like it literally looks like a brown sack now she has two I just realized so I just that's why I was like oh hold on so anyways I have one I did not have a garden last year and guess what she didn't show back up or her babies didn't show back up because I'm pretty sure what they do at the end of the time they like lay their eggs they die and then they're they the, the sack hatches or whatever and then they have hundreds of more spider babies okay but what's neat and like in the movie Charlotte's Web the babies come back to the same place. So it's really kind of a neat thing. Okay, so didn't have a garden last year. Nobody showed up. I did not see them anywhere. Nobody on my window, nothing. And I was like really disappointed, but I also didn't have a garden. This year, planted a garden again. And I was like, I wonder if they'll come back. They did, okay? So let's, let me show you. So instead of being up here in this window, she's right down here. So instead of being in this window, she's actually right down here in this little corner. Okay, can you see her? So here she is. Yeah, there we go. The lighting's not the best. She's beautiful though. Like an absolutely incredibly beautiful spider. She's got like black and yellow on her, like the big part. I don't know what it's called. I don't want to call it her butt, but it's not her butt. I know it's not her butt. Okay, so there's that. So here we are. She makes this very unique web like this. You see this like little line here? Yes, and if you look directly behind those two brown things, those are her baby sacks. Those are full of spider babies, which is kind of terrifying. 
All right. So we just walk out to my garden, which is right here. And I have found two more that I did not know existed until just now. Here's one. Exact same spider. I guarantee it is a sister. This one is not as big. This one is not as big as her over there. Not at all. Not as big. But still, they're still gigantic spiders. Okay? So here's one. And here's her sack of babies. What? Okay. And there's another one right here. Now she's about as big as the other one, that first one that we looked at. But there's another one. I don't see her sack of babies yet. There we go. Again, looking at the undercarriage. Apologize there, my lady. But here we have three. I did not know I had three. Okay, so you got to be a part of that discovery because I had no idea these other two that are literally right next to my garden, which is where I expected that first one to be. Now I have two more that are literally on either side of my garden, hence why I call them garden spiders, but they're not actually called that. Hank's on the watch. <laughs> I have these three, these three calves. See, I tell you, they're just curious. Final stop, letting these girls out. showered feeling good feeling fresh by we I mean me yeah I'm getting ready to order my sushi I'm so excited I'm gonna order my sushi and then I'm assuming there will be a little bit of a wait there usually is for the sushi especially the place that we go I love the place that we go but they take forever they absolutely take forever but while I wait for that I am going to clean up the house because I am someone I cannot fully enjoy a day at home if the house is not like just like cleaned up, tidied. So I have already done my outside stuff. I tidied up the, the front, the house. We saw that, the garden bed. I'm gonna sweep, I'm gonna Swiffer. I'm going to change out the, we put blankets on our couch for the dogs. So I'm gonna switch those out so that those are fresh and clean. I have a full load of dishes that needs to be unloaded and a few dishes in the sink that need to be put into the dishwasher, tidy up the kitchen area. So get all of that done. That should take no time. And by the time I get done with that, then it should be time to go pick up my sushi. And then I'll come back, eat my sushi, and then we're going to do our tiered tray and then get on with a few work things that I'm going to work on this afternoon. Plop myself down on the couch, turn on some Gilmore Girls, and get my work done while watching Gilmore Girls. Doesn't that sound perfect? It literally sounds like perfection. And I'm so excited for it. So here we go. So they said 20 to 25 minutes. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes for me to get there. So for the next 13 minutes, I'm gonna do all the things to tidy the house so that by the time I get back, I can fully enjoy my sushi and not be like disgusted with the dirty home. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, first things first, this is how I go about doing this because this is my thought process with it. But when I'm doing cleaning, before I do the floors, I wipe off all the counters, like I clean off all the counters. That way if there's any like, things all over the counters, I'm wiping them off onto the floor. Like, you know, as I'm wiping it, there's like crumbs and things. If my paper towel doesn't like catch it and it pushes it onto the floor, I wanna get that done first so that it's all wiping onto the floor. So that then when I sweep, I'm getting everything. Versus if I swept first, then I would wipe the counters and things would then end up on the floor again. And then I would need to sweep again. See what I'm saying? So I always do my counters first and then I do my dishes. So we're gonna, we're gonna knock that out first. Just thought I would share that little tidbit of efficiency, if you will. After the counters are clean, I clean with bleach and then I go back in and I clean with that second uh, spray because it just smells phenomenal. Absolutely smells phenomenal. And that's the dryer that's done. 
I started my laundry before my workout so that by the time my workout was done, my workouts are about 45 minutes long, by the time my workout was done, I was able to switch my laundry over into the like from the wash to the dryer and then I was able to put in another load. So I've got another load going in the, in the washer right now. Another efficient tip that I have for you. But after I clean the counters, I wash my hands because I still have might have some of that bleach residue on that and I don't necessarily want that to be on the clean dishes that I'm about to put away. I also wash my hands and then get a fresh towel just because I don't, I can't always remember when I put the last towel up. So fresh towel comes next. sushi my floors are drying so by the time I get back they're dry I'm not worried about anybody stepping on them so we're gonna do that now. and they told me 20 to 25 minutes and it is now 1140 so that has been 20 minutes that has gone by but this place is notorious for they tell you 20 to 25 minutes it's actually closer to like 30 to 40 minutes so I think that took me 20 minutes to do all of that I feel so good having it done because now I can come home I can fully enjoy my sushi my floors are gonna be clean my kitchen is clean everything is good to go I was gonna switch out the dog blankets, but the dogs are sleeping on them and my chickens are out and my dogs and chickens do not cohabitate outside well because the dogs eat the chickens. So I'm not gonna mess with the couch blankets right now since the dogs are sleeping in them, but I am gonna leave. I'm gonna head and go get my sushi, but I feel so good that this is done. And yeah, I just did a whole lot of cleaning in 20 minutes and I feel so good right now. <laughs> I feel so good. What are you doing? You think you need to go? Do you both think that you need to go? All right, I'll go for a car ride. Two doggos decided they needed to come with me, so we're going for a car ride. Go get sushi. to decorate my tiered tray for the month of September. I have things from TJ Maxx, from Target, from Dollar General. The ones from Target are from the dollar spot, so I don't know that I could even link those if I wanted to. There's only a couple of things from there. TJ Maxx, of course we can't link, and then Dollar General, same thing. So I do apologize, but since this is coming out in September and you're gonna see it in September, and I literally just bought all these things a week ago, 
hopefully you'll still have a chance to find them if you are someone that is in the market or looking for these things. We're gonna start with it, and I got this from Dollar General, so we're gonna start with the Dollar General things because they're not actually in bags. I love dangly legs. This was at Dollar General, it was $5. I also got a little standing scarecrow. Look how sweet that is. So two little scarecrows. I actually didn't have anything, any other scarecrows. I did not see any scarecrows anywhere else that I went. So when I saw those, I was like, oh my, the, that's like the perfect last little touch that I needed. They also had these for a dollar each. This one says it's fall y'all. And this one says leaves are falling. And then I got this cute little sign. It's for $3. It has a little stand or you could just close it and lean it. But it has, it says autumn vibes, pumpkins, hot cider, roasted marshmallows, crunchy leaves, sweater weather. I think I will start with Target because I literally only have one bag. So these are from the Target dollar spot, even though some of the things are $5 and $3. So first this little apple shaped basket, how sweet is that? So I don't actually think that I will put this on my tiered tray. This might actually go on the dining room table, but either way, I could not get it. And it was five bucks. It just is called a four pack prop pack. So there are, they're just little wooden pieces, but there's a fresh cider. You can see that this one says fresh cider. And again, I'm going for like an apple theme. There's a hot apple cider, but these two are perfect for what I'm going for. Love those. So that's from Target and that was $3. Okay. So that's all that I had from Target. Everything else is from TJ Maxx. This is also fun because I bought these a week ago and then I haven't looked at them since. And so I kind of have like forgotten what I got, but then now I'm going to get to remember and it's kind of fun. Again. Sunflowers, apples, scarecrow is my theme for this month. So look at this sweet little sunflower mug. And this is like the bottom half of a gnome. See his little nose. So look how sweet that is. I love them. I have this, I don't even know what this brand is. Lang, I don't know, but I have multiple of these adorable little gnome cups that I've gotten from either like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, and they're always like these little gnomes and they just come with different themes and they are the sweetest. So there's one. So fun fact, we were checking out and one of my cups was chipped and so I got a different one and when as I was running back, I saw this <laughs> jar of soap. I don't know if you can see it but it had sunflowers on it and it said autumn vibes and I was like, oh, I've got to get that. So I grabbed it as well as I was like running back to the cash register and the girl was like, did you have that before? And I was like, no, but I saw it on the way up here and you were still bringing me out. So I just grabbed it. So anyway, so here we have, this says apple spice cake in a mug. So there's that, which is super neat, super cute, very much on, on theme. But in the back, look how neat this is. Gives you the instructions to make apple spice cake. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Oh yeah, it's literally to make in the mug. It says apple spice cake in a mug. Anyways, so yeah, these are the ingredients, not only to make an apple spice cake, but to make it in a mug and not just any mug, but this mug. And then that makes sense why you got this tiny little whisk. This is adorable and I'll be honest, I had no idea this was on the back until just now. So again, how fun. If you're new to me or around here, I am a Ray Dunn fan. However, I am not a diehard fan in the sense that you need to have everything Ray Dunn. In fact, originally when I first started to enjoy Ray Dunn, I was like, oh, okay, I need to get everything Ray Dunn. And now I actually prefer to have a mixture. So if you've noticed, so far I've opened up three mugs. Two have been other styles of mugs. Like these are two different style of mugs that are not Ray Dunn. And then now I've opened up my first Ray Dunn mug, which says, Fallen For You. I also enjoy a Ray Dunn mug that is not just the normal plain white with black writing. So I love finding a Ray Dunn mug that is, the inside is a different color. Definitely when the outside is a different color, I love it. I do love the font. I love everything that is Ray Dunn, but I've decided that when I do my tiered trays, I actually enjoy it to be a mixture and having like a couple of Ray Dunn mugs, but then the rest be mugs that are like this. Just to kind of change it up, I think that the tiered trays look a lot cuter to be completely honest when there's a mixture of other things thrown in. This one says, good morning sunshine. And then if you'll notice, right here is an adorable little sunflower. I started doing my tiered trays last year in October. October was the first month that I decorate a, decorated a tiered tray. So this is actually my last month 
over the course of a year of me decorating my tiered tray for every single month of the year, this is the last month that I did not have anything for. So it's kind of a bittersweet thing to go shopping for it. Now, I can still buy things and add things to my stuff later on. And someday when we're in a different home, we'll definitely expand my decorating past just the tiered tray and like the dining room table. But for now, that's about all I have to work with. This candle smells amazing. So I will also buy candles to put on my tiered tray, even though it's like a coffee tiered tray. I will still put candles on there just because why not? So a lot of them are cute, but this one might actually end up going on my kitchen counter and us burning it because it smells incredible. It's crisp apple and pear, ripe, golden, and crisp. So this is actually a jar. So there's a lid to it too, but I remember the girl said that she wrapped it separately. So look how pretty that is. Fun fact, my favorite flower is a sunflower. This is just a bowl that I found. Colors are very appropriate for everything that I've shared with you so far. So the inside is this like orange color and then the outside is this red, which is super pretty. Okay. Another thing that I love about Ray Dunn is their toppers. Not all of their mugs have it, but some of their mugs have toppers that go on top and I just love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. It adds so much character to the cup. There's a fun little mug that is actually gonna be added. So it's gonna go with our theme, even though it's the literal only thing that I have with football, but that's okay. That is okay. We have two bags left, we're almost done. Okay, so first, these are very large, might I add, red apples. So those are just a decor piece. Here's this one, details on that one. What's nice about that is this color, it's kind of a greenish like I had mentioned earlier, but like my scarecrow and this, like those colors go together really well. Here's my lid, so here's the lid for my sunflower jar. Oh! oh. <laughs> See, I told you guys I forgot about what all I purchased and you get to get my genuine reaction. So my little gnome, he has a hat and I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. And the hat, do you see? It has a little sunflower on the top. Look at it, it's so sweet. This is probably, so I always pick a favorite mug. I always end up picking a favorite mug that's on my tear tray and quite frankly, this is probably it because I, I told you my love of Ray Dunn doing the toppers on their mugs, but this one's a little gnome and he's holding my favorite flower and he's just adorable and he has a hat and oh my gosh, my heart. My heart. So, okay, so there's only two things left and these are more decorative pieces and that's why I saved them for last. My thought process with this was, if this will fit, this might be too big and it may stick out too far off of my shelf. So we'll just have to see. But in the event that doesn't work, I have an idea for it. But this is the idea of this is to put this underneath my tiered tray. You'll only be able to see the petals. So I may actually not wanna do that because then that really takes away from this. I could put this on my dining room table with my little apple basket. I'm not sure yet. We will have to see. Final thing are these adorable little sunflower, whoops. These, that, she did tell me that was broken, which was actually fine because I don't necessarily plan to keep these rings. I just wanted to like have some sunflowers and just make them as like accents all over my tiered tray. Is my little September tiered tray haul and I am obsessed with it. new things on my tiered tray for September but first I have to take all of my things down from August so this was my lemon theme with black yellow blue and accents so I love this super simple moving forward I might get like some fake lemons or something to put through or something I don't know but I'm gonna take this off clean it up just because dust and things get in there in between because I, I change this just once a month and then we will decorate for the next one Let's get to decorating, shall we? 
as we're getting ready to start decorating this tiered tray, I want to start by saying there is no rhyme or reason why I put certain things where I put them. I just try to find like a balance of the different colors that I have. I have maroons, oranges, white, that tealish color. So I just want to try to make a good mixture and a good balance of all the colors that I have. I don't want necessarily two of the same color sitting right next to each other. So that's kind of how I go about doing this. But again, there's no rhyme or reason. I just basically play with it until I find what I like. I am super pleased with all the things that I got and especially with this like I don't usually put a ton of attention on the dining room table I'll do a little something something every now and then if I find something but I don't put a lot of pressure on that but I'm obsessed with that I think that looks adorable also if you're wondering about the flowers those are my bouquet from my wedding so I did fake flowers with the intention of keeping them and literally using them as centerpieces and throughout my house. So I actually have one in my office that sits on my desk and then I also have this one that sits here on this table pretty much year round. Well, I mean, I haven't even been married quite a year, but it will sit on there year round. So anyway, I'm super pleased and really proud of it. All right, so all of the big things that I wanted to get done around the house today are done got laundry going and almost everything is washed and dried. I think I need to switch over one more load but other than that everything will have been washed and dried and then tomorrow I will fold everything and put that away. I in the kitchen, I swept and swiffered the floors, I updated my tiered tray, I ended up doing the dining table which I didn't realize I was going to do the dining room table so that was a nice little bonus. I had sushi which was a nice little enjoyable treat. Good getting to do the unboxing if you will of all of my goodies before I put them on the tier tray was fun so all that's left at this point is me plopping my booty down on the couch and then I'm going to grab my laptop and I'm gonna just work on some things I think I will start with the easiest thing first get that checked off the list because it's something that I can do while watching Gilmore Girls and it's not gonna take a lot of brain power and then depending on how I feel once that is done I will either keep working or I'll put my laptop away and I'll be done for the day. So that's the plan for now. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and head in there.
All right, and that is a wrap on this day. I'm going to go ahead and put a cap on this day in the life, lazy day, Saturday, but still very productive vlog that we did here. So I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed sharing it all, but I hope that you enjoyed tuning in. I love watching vlogs personally, so I've had a lot of fun doing them. So I'm gonna have a wonderful rest of my day. I'm just gonna keep watching some Gilmore Girls. I'm gonna, we got some ribs yesterday. I'm gonna warm those up, have some veggies, and just enjoy the rest of the night. I think I'm actually gonna go sit outside for a while and read because it's beautiful out. So thank you, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.